Hello all, welcome to Netbook and welcome back to Mules of Technical Block. Today I'm planning to talk about how we can manage and trace correlation ID in a MuleSoft. First of all, we need to understand what is the correlation ID. Then I will discuss about how we can generate a correlation ID in a MuleSoft. Can we generate a custom correlation ID during uh, as well as can I change it during runtime? That part I'm going to discuss. A correlation ID is a transaction ID, which is unique identifier value that is attached to your request and message. Whenever a new transaction comes in a MuleSoft or any other application or any event generate, a transaction ID is mandatory. That will be the your correlation ID, which will be identified with a unique link. And this correlation ID is defined in as a standard, non-standard HTTP header, and it is a part of Java messaging services. In MuleSoft, whenever there is an event generated, that event will be associated with a one correlation ID. I think most of them might be seeing that uh, the event will contain uh, payload, variables, and attributes. But we have something else also, that is a correlation ID also, it will be attached to the event. This correlation ID is generated as a Java universally unique queue identifier, that is we call UUID, and that will be attached to the correlation ID. And we can use this correlation ID to track our transaction or monitor our transaction and we can trace our transaction also. How exactly in MuleSoft it generates is if in a header part, either in a JMS message or HTTP listener message, if the header is contain X underscore correlation ID, the same value will be taken and it will be passed to the all the processors. In case of this header is not passed, then MuleSoft will generate automatic correlation ID using this UUID and it will be passed to the across the flow. Let me see how exactly this is going to work. Now I'm going to take orders API. I have orders API over here. This order API has HTTP listener and then I have an entry log over here. For each order, I'm going to take the current order ID. I'm printing over here. I'm inserting the particular single order into database. Then finally, I'm transforming the response and exit log I'm printing over here. So I'm going to run this application in debug mode. Right click, run this project in debug mode. I will say proceed. I will say proceed. Over here, there is no errors. Uh, ignore those errors. I'm going to put a breakpoint over here. And I want to test it. So I have this postman over here. And this is my URL and list of orders I'm going to send it over here. As soon as I submit this request, my request will be coming over here and new event will be generated. And it generate a correlation ID. If you see that I don't have any headers and I'm going to send a request. Now this HTTP listener will generate an event. It will pass it over here. Now if I go to the mule debug and this is my mule event, and if you see the correlation ID, the correlation ID is generated this value. UUID, the universally unique queue identifier will be generated and it will be passed across all the flow. You can see that the correlation ID will be travel the entire flow. Even in a for each, the same correlation ID will be 
passed over here you can see that same id will be going over here and finish done now in the logs also if we check the log there is a event the correlation id is same for entire flow that is how it will be generated imagine what i want to do is i want to generate if i receive in a header the correlation id x correlation id if i am receiving that in a header then same correlation id will be passed across my flow i'm going to keep it this is a key i'm going to say test correlation id test id one two three something this is the value which i'm passing i'm going to change my request over here to order id i'm going to change it to some other values and in the header i'm passing this x correlation id when i send this request as i'm sending that x correlation id in the header the same correlation id will come as correlation id in the event the same correlation id will be traversed entire my flow i'm going to finish it and i will show over here in the log that my event is you can see the test id 1 2 3 and the same id is passing over here that is how the mule soft generate a correlation id if it is not passing in the header it will generate a new id and it will pass if it is passing in a header the same id will be taken now i want to modify the correlation id generator so using the gu uuid function it generate a correlation id but maybe i want to change that correlation id generation i don't want the same way what means of default it is generating one of the reason is my organization follow different standard for generating the correlation id i don't want the correlation id which is generating with a uuid like it normally generate this kind of id right normally this kind of id it will be generated but my organization doesn't want this iphone over here they want the correlation id should be generated like this can i generate my own custom correlation id in a mulesoft yes with the latest version of mulesoft that is mule 4.4 runtime you can generate your own correlation id for that go to the global and create configuration in the configuration you can see correlation id generator this tag you need to replace i'm going to say uuid which generates some id over here if i go to uh, data view playground what does uh, uuid function does uuid this function create this correlation id every time newly it is going to generate a new universally identifier this function have iphone over here i don't want iphone over here so i'm going to use a replace iphone with empty space with this way i can generate my own correlation id so it doesn't mean you have to follow the same so whatever the logic maybe if you want to uh, take current date time with a milliseconds that also you can put based on your own algorithm you can generate your correlation id over here you can write that code over here and you can generate it click on ok and i'm going to save it this transaction now let it deploy i want to test it this flow now now i uncheck this correlation id over here and i'm going to change the values over here four and uh, other five order id which i'm going to send send now if you see that over here the correlation id is generated in a such a way whatever the required format to what i want it over here 
I don't have iPhone over here. So that means my organization required some format based on that I'm going to write my logic to generate my own correlation ID. Other than that, maybe if your external system is expecting some correlation ID length and all to compatible with your organization standards or maybe your externalized systems uh, standards, we can generate it and we can pass it this way. That means we can generate our own correlation ID in a mule soft with a mule 4.4 runtime. You can see that correlation ID is going the same. Clear, right? Now the next thing is what I want to discuss is, can I change this correlation ID during my runtime? Yes, you can change with a mule 4.4 runtime. What 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 is the requirement of changing this correlation ID? Imagine I have a for each in this flow. I have receiving list of orders. I want to track with a different mechanism, different registry ID or unique ID for each within this flow. Then I want to change the for correlation ID within this for each and I want to track it. In such a scenario, I want to use the, the changing the correlation ID. Other than that, if I'm consuming a JMS message, the JMS message will have a JMS correlation ID. That is my traceability process, I want to use it. Then also I can use that JMS correlation ID uh, instead of my generated correlation ID. For that, if you want to implement that process in a mule soft, what you want to do is, let me stop at this now. First, you need to add a, a module called trace module. Mule trace module, you can see mule trace module which you need to add as a dependency over here in your project. And then the second process is with the correlation ID, this is the scope which you need to use wherever you want to change the correlation ID. That scope, you need to add it in the, within this with correlation ID scope. Now, what I want to do is with this, correlation ID. Here I need to write a logic. I have a correlation ID, right? But the same correlation ID, I don't want to uh, use it within this for each. For each transaction, I want to append with a order ID, the correlation ID. So in such a case, I'm going to use this over here. I want to append with that. So I'm going to say plus plus, I'm going to use iPhone, I'm going to maybe directly, I want to append the order ID over here. Let me see, I'm going to pass it the order ID as number, so which I want to convert as string. And I want to append that with a correlation ID. So for each order, it will be tracked with a different correlation ID. Now save this change. Now let me test it this, right click, run this project. Okay, that's fine. Um, I will show you in the log, I'm not running debug mode. Now let me change my order IDs over here, six, seven. Now deploy this project. I'm going to submit a request now. You can see I, I'm getting successful response over here. And if I go to my logs over here, in the logs, the event is the correlation ID initially is generated this one. And within the for each, if you see that, the current order is this one, right? In the for each. If you see this order event, now the correlation ID is different than what initially it is generated. And this is the last 
I think five or six digits. One, two, four, from where? One, two, four. This is appended and this is appended with the correlation array that is changed. Once the for each scope is come out, there is an exit log now. That point of time, again, your old correlation ID will bring back over here. That means some, within the some scopes, wherever you want to track it with the updated or changed correlation ID, you can use with this correlation ID in a trace module and you can do that. And if you want to debug these logs, if you want to debug these logs, you can log, you can add one entry in the logger over here, log4j. In the log4j, you can add the entry of debugging option over here. Uh, I will just show over here. And you can add this org.mule.runtime.mule.extension.internal runtime operation in debug mode. So this statement I want to add as a uh, in a log. Let me add it that. So I'm going to add this option over here, which will show that when the correlation ID is changed and when the correlation ID is changed back, that details will be printed in the log. Let me stop it and restart it. As I'm changing the log4j, I need to restart my application. That's why it just restarted. Now we can see my project got deployed. I'm going to test it the same flow again. I'm going to change the value as eight, nine over here and send. Now we got a successful response as I'm sending that in a debug over here. Now you can see that initially this is my correlation ID and in the debug, it is showing that it is in the debug mode here. In the debug, the operation is changed that the event correlation ID is from this to change it to this value in a location this point of time. And then that new correlation ID is printing over here. And again, if you see that from the previous correlation ID, it is change it back to this correlation ID. Again, we have another order ID. From this correlation ID, it is changed with a new order ID. It is appending over here. And then again over here, you can see this going back, this correlation ID is going back to the original correlation ID. Successful execution. That information is in the debug mode is printing over here. That means Using that statement here, we can see when the correlation ID is changed and when the correlation ID is set it back to the previous correlation ID. That information we can print it in a log. I hope this is clear. So what I have explained, we can generate our own custom correlation ID in a MuleSoft 4.4 runtime. And we can change the correlation ID at runtime. Uh, based on our uh, business scenarios and uh, we can use the better traceability and better uh, correlation ID mechanism in Mule Runtime. And this is only possible with the latest version of Mule Runtime that is 4.4. This is a new feature released by the MuleSoft. Thank you MuleSoft for uh, providing this new feature. That's it for today. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share, subscribe, netbook. See you in the next video.